Ajay! Ajay! Anumne, help! Anumne, help! It's indeed fun, but you... Ajay, it's your scary. I want you to know the big fire starts now. Whenever you find matches and lighters lying around, have your parents or guardians put them away. As they headed back home, the youngest told his brothers that he was hungry. And Ulu is an enough made half moon shaped light used for many, many things. Welcome to Takuginai. I'm Ulipa. I will be your host today. Today we will be showing you different things like story hour, games at Jomi School, and some safety stuff. Watch this to see what we'll be watching. The first clip we will be watching is kids with their families at Jomi School playing all sorts of games. They did some fundraising for literacy. Wait, let's watch this and see who's winning some games.
The next clip we are about to watch is Story Hour at our local library. Let's see what kinds of stories they are. Hi, and thanks for coming today. My name is Johnny, and, and today is such a lovely day, right, kid? Uh-huh. I hope you remember to look both ways before you cross the road because there are a lot of cars going by. So did you look both ways before you cross the road? And today we are going to read you some uh, some book stories ah. from Takugunai. Hi children. My name is Pia. I'm Johnny. Do you, do you kids go sliding a lot? Good. Here is the story we are going to read about sliding. Let's go sliding. Is that a costume? A costume? No, it's my clothing. <laughs> okay. Yes, one day I went sliding. Um, okay. Grandpa was cleaning a fish while Granny was sewing Gamik, Anungnik was watching Puki playing hockey, and Johnny was watching Takuginai on TV and C. I I was watching Takuginai. Yes. I like Takuginai. Anungnik said, Johnny, it's so nice out. Why don't we go outside and play? I like sliding. Johnny said, I'd like to have, uh, I'd like to eat first. Anil Nick said, you are always eating, Johnny. You just had breakfast. Because I like to eat a lot, right? Come on, Johnny. Let's go out and play. So Johnny said, okay. Takuginai is over anyways. Ananachia, that's Granny, was sewing, and she said, if, you're, if you would like seal skin to use as your sliding material, they're in the porch. Aningnik and Johnny went out to play. They said, hi, Buki, we're on our way to go sliding. While they went outside, they were looking for a place to slide. Johnny, uh, Anil Nick said, Johnny, which hill do you think is safe? I look for the good places to go sliding. How about that one? Oh, Anil Nick just remembered 
Grandpa said not to slide near the poles. That's what he said. And cars. You have to watch out for cars. You have to watch out for the cars when you go sliding. Anunglik was polling. Johnny. <gasps> Anunglik. Johnny, what about this hill? It doesn't look too high. Anunglik said, um, but look, look at those rocks. There were too many rocks in the hill. Oh, I remembered. John, Johnny remember how about Josie's place, huh? near Josie's place. Wow, maybe that's a better place to go sliding. But when they got to Josie's place, they were dogs. <gasps> you can't go sliding near dogs. Some I dogs are dangerous. I don't want to slide near any dogs. Hey, look, Johnny. Those kids are sliding. It must be safe. There are no poles. No cars. There are no rocks. And, and no cars. No cars. So let's go up the hill. Come on, Johnny, let's slide down. Johnny Ajay. said. All the way down? Whoa. So they were going to slide down. They were sliding down and whee! Ajay. Johnny, Johnny heard broom. He, he closed his eyes when he was sliding down then. He opened them, and he said, wow, that was fun. Right, Johnny? That was fun. Ooh, they'd been sliding all afternoon when Pookie came over and said, um, Anilmi, Johnny, Granny wants you to come home so we can have some fish. So Johnny asked, did you win your hockey game, Pookie? Pookie said, um, have you guys been sliding all day? Johnny then said, Woo, we had to look for places to slide because some places are dangerous. Yes, there were some cars going by, there were some rocks in the hill, and there were dogs nearby. So we when had to go look for a good, safe hill to slide down. So when you go sliding, always make sure there are no cars. And no posts nearby. And no rocks. And no dogs nearby. OK? Yes. Let's go sliding. <laughs> this one begins like so. Bukalsuk, which means word. And he's just learning to speak. So he's going to teach us some new words. And his first word begins with Uvangatana. Uvangatana. Can anybody say that? Good boy. Yeah. yeah. That means, this is me. Nutaratana. Nutaratana. This is a baby. This is a baby. This one says, Inuktana. Inuktana. This is a person. This is a person. You'll be hearing one word throughout this book which says tana, which means this one, tana. Angutitana, angutitana. A little boy with overalls and a hammer. Look at this little boy, smiley, angutitana. This one says, the mother's holding the baby. Unganaktana. Unganaktana. Lovable one. Lovable one. 
Yeah. This one says here, una tana, una tana. She's pointing at the baby, una tana. You see these two here? Kuni tana, kuni tana. What's this? Their noses. We kiss with our noses. Kuni. Hmm. Kuni tana. And it ends like tana tana. Like I said earlier, we were going to hear a word tana tana throughout this book. Tana tana. This one, this one. And that's the book with ukausuk. The baby is just learning how to speak. Words. Ukausuk. Word. Josie would like to teach you what she learned in school. Let's see what she would like to teach. Hi, my name is Josie, and I'd like to show you these symbols that are dangerous. These labels that have warning labels, and what these symbols mean is, this is poisonous, danger, poisonous. And this one means warning, explosive, when it gets near a heat or hot flame, it explodes. And this means caution, it's poisonous, very dangerous. And also this one means warning, corrosive. If you touch it with your bare hand, you will burn your skin. And this one means danger, flammable. It burns easily, do not put it near a flame. And this one means caution, explosive. It means it explodes, explodes easily when near a heat or a flame. And this says danger, corrosive. Do not touch it with your bare hand. You could burn your skin easily. And this means warning, poison. It is poisonous, warning. This is what I learned in school today. These symbols mean you have to be aware how dangerous they are. My goodness, we better keep away from those chemicals because they are dangerous. Another thing we have to be careful is when we go on a bus. When school is out or when you're going on a bus, you have to line up in single file and never go towards a bus when it's moving. Only when the bus comes to a complete stop, you can go in. When you're inside the bus, never bother the driver. The driver needs all his attention in order to drive. Always listen to the driver. Only two people need to sit down in one chair for safety reasons. It's 
never stand up in a bus when it's moving. Only get up when the bus comes to a complete stop. When you go out of the bus, move away from the bus where the driver can see you. And make sure you look both ways before you cross the road. Let's listen to some songs from the Funland Band. You can sing along if you like. Let me ask you this question. How many fingers do you have? Ten. What about your thumb? Eight fingers, two thumbs? But we'll call them all fingers for this song, all right? Ten fingers? Now, here's what we're going to do. First of all, let's see if we get everybody wiggling your ten fingers. Okay, what else do you have ten of? Toes. Everybody wiggle your toes. Toes. Now point to your two ears. Two ears. But just one nose. Everybody do that one. Just one nose. Okay. So when we sing those words, we're going to be watching for all of you to do the actions for us. Okay? Are you ready out there? Are you ready out there? All right. Are you ready, Hooper? I think so. How about you, Judy? No problem. I know what I'm doing this time. already time for me to say goodbye. Thank you for watching Takuginai. We'll see you next time. Have a safe and a happy day. In a pink hat Down by the bay Down by the bay Down by the bay